Welcome everybody to the Big Picture Manatee. This is our inaugural episode. We have a great mission. That mission is to be nonpartisan, to educate, inform, learn, and talk to the public about things that we know. All of our views though, remember this, that we express here today are our own and not reflective of the Big Picture Manatee as a whole. So today we want you to meet the members of the Big Picture Manatee. So first, I'm going to ask Hawk. Reggie. Hey, hey, hey. I am Reggie Bellamy, born and raised in Manatee County, product of Manatee County Schools. I am a proud veteran that served in the United States Armory. More importantly, a proud graduate from Bethune-Cookman University. This is an exciting opportunity for us to talk about the Big Picture Manatee. Welcome, everyone. Hey everybody, I'm Misty Servia. I'm a certified planner with more than 30 years of experience working in both the public and the private sectors in our community. And can I just say, I'm so excited to kick off this show with the two of you, Reggie and Sherry. This is great, thank you. All right, thanks so much. And why am I here? Well, I'm here because when I closed out my career in county government, I continued to hear from people all the time asking me questions. How do I learn certain things? Where do I go to find information? What do I do if this happens? Where's the agenda? What do these words mean? And by answering all those questions from that two years ago, all the way up to just yesterday, I know that people still want to be engaged and informed. So today we're starting this series and our first topic is why is it important to conduct a national search for the next county administrator. And Missy, why don't you kick it off? Okay, look, this all comes down to trust for me. Um, we have got to cast a wide net, do a national search because the public expects it. And that's the way that the Board of County Commissioners is gonna be able to build that trust. You know, yes. and I, I think that's how they command the respect that they also want. They've got to follow through on their promise to do a national search. And look, I say national search, but I I really believe the next candidate is going to come from Florida. At least I hope so. Because, you know, someone who's worked in Florida is going to have a head start and understanding all of our laws, our environmental issues and the high growth rate and the coastal community. You know, all those things can't come from somebody in Montana, for example. What do you think, Reg? Hey, I'm just listening and thinking about, you know, the, the potential prospect coming from Florida. And, and, I, and I think you nailed in on something that's, that's very key right there. Because of the infrastructure, because of the tourists, and because of the different things preparing for disaster and our different environmental challenges that we have, I think you hit something there, Misty. A, a potential prospective county administrator probably will come from Florida. But I also think, what are we looking for? We're talking about you know, casting the net for the best county administrator. I think we need to make sure that we bring forward some experience and some balance. And experience and balance and knowing the Sunshine State, I think is very, very important. If you just, just pause and just you know give a thought on what our community has been through the last five years, five different county administrators, and I take responsibility at, as a former county commissioner myself. It's important for us to, to, to assure that we bring somebody in that, that knows Florida a little bit and understand the different challenges that the weather bring, the tourists bring. I think that particular approach with experience and balance is very, very important. What are your thoughts, Sherry? Well, I think all those are great thoughts. And I mean, coming from the perspective of on the other side, being a county administrator, um, knowing <laughs> knowing all of the vast knowledge that you have to have and able to, to be able to address any particular issue. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what from the employees and the community perspective, it means to have someone like what you both have explained. You know, about 80% of a county administrator's time deals with the 200 plus staff members in the community about county operations and citizens problems. 
drinking water, water sewer problems, um, building related problems, permitting, um, all of those things. And you have to have a wide knowledge of the rules, the ordinances, the, the laws, all the policies and procedures. And someone who's been in a similar situation, and as Misty mentioned, maybe Florida, or a similar growth area that could be somewhere else in the country, comes knowing that you have to be really cautious about each step you take because every decision you make as a county administrator can either adversely affect or positively affect the next item that comes along. So I think it's really important to have great leadership, to be trusted, not to be feared, not to be intimidating, but also to be a great leader that allows the employees that are there professionally to do the job, to step forward and help create the kind of information and analysis needed so the Board of County Commissioners can make those best and smart decisions. What else is really important? You know, you're smart well, about that. If I could just say this really quickly, because I mean, having that insight of being a previous county administrator, and I, I think you said 200 employees, but I know you meant 2,000 employees. <laughs> Oops, 2,000. <laughs> Um, uh, Manatee County is a it's a big county to run. You know, I'd love to hear from you, Reggie. What what is that ideal candidate when you're thinking of the next county administrator? What is that ideal candidate? I've thought a lot about this, and I really hope that we end up with someone with a really calm demeanor but high energy. You know, and I I think that's a tough one um, because you want someone who can stay calm under pressure. Sherry, you did this. Um, but high, <laughs> high energy and strong leadership skills, you know, someone who can who say without saying it in so many words to the staff members, we are here to, you're, it's a safe place, you know, you're working in a great environment, we value you, and um, I just want that positive culture uh, to really be strong in Manatee County. What do you think, Reg? Well, it- Earlier, we we talked about the word trust, and with all the different challenges that, that go on, I mean, we don't want anyone from Montana, you know, that has no idea of the different environmental challenges we have or how we prepare for hurricanes and things like that to come in with inexperience. So, and, and this is why we have to trust our current leadership, to be honest with you, that they'll do that national search, and they'll obviously cast that net to bring in the right person but Misty, when you're talking about energy, when you say energy, I said yes, but experience as well, because we I, we have a lot of different people that bring forth energy. However, you have to know when that energy is needed and when it's not needed. Um, some of those meetings are very, very challenging um, when you're talking about dealing with seven um, different bosses. And I'm sure someone would need experience in that. But on the ground, when you're dealing with the staff, and the different challenges, whether it's an emergency as far as a, a main water line breaks in the middle of Cortez, we have to have, the, we need energy, but we don't need to be overexcited. We need to find ways to make solutions so we can get a conclusion as quick as possible. So trusting the process is one thing, but what I'm thinking of is someone with experience and an and, and individual that can bring forth that balance. And I just like the way Sherry brings it to us because She's had that experience and she knows the different challenges that come forward. But I think more importantly, the great seven, which I'm talking about, our county commissioners have to be very, very clear as far as what they're looking for. We can talk about it as far as what we think, but we know what a decision making. And I think as far as casting the net and trusting that we'll bring the right potential candidates, we also have to trust in our current leadership that they're going to do do a great job. And I believe they will. That's just me. I'm glad you mentioned the seven because, as you know, the county administrator and the county attorney are the only two positions that the seven county commissioners hire, but they impact the entire community and all the people that you mentioned, both employees. And so I want them to have someone they can trust, but that can also work collectively with the other constitutional officers that that treats them all as equal so that they all have a voice. You have to communicate as a county administrator and do it in a way that you are equally sharing information with each one of the commissioners and you're available to them 
you're answering for them. And if you don't know the answer, you're reaching out to those qualified staff to find out what the information is. And you don't just give it to one, you give it to all because they collectively have to make that vote. As you guys know, being put in that situation, you have to collectively make a vote for each district, for the at-large people, they have to know everything. And so I'm excited that they're, they're doing this national search. It looks like they're planning on uh, pushing back the times of which they're going to be actually, um, you know, bringing in the finalist and really ramping back up to early August. And, and, and lastly, with that, I like the fact that it sounds like they're wanting to make sure that the community is informed and included in knowing who the candidates are and what they bring to the table, because it really is important for everyone in the community to feel like the county administrator and the board and county commissioners work for them and are completely transparent and open. So those are some exciting things. What did we forget? We've got a few more minutes here. Um, some last things we might want to share with our viewers. Oh, I just God. have one, one or two more things. Misty, go go ahead, ladies first. Oh, no, sorry about that, Reggie. Um, I was just going to say, man, did you hit it on target with the communication? And that's the, the key that, to success or problems in any organization with any topic, right? And that's what I've learned my whole life. So, yeah, good communication to everyone at the same time. And I love that you talk about the community because, you know, in the past, I've seen the community be involved in deciding who the best candidate is. You know, we bring in, I've seen that us bring in nonprofits, the agricultural community, the business owners. Let's not forget the directors who are going to work for this person. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, this person will work uh, at the pleasure of the Board of County Commissioners, but this person is gonna work in our community. And so therefore our community has to be a big part of selecting the right person. Go ahead, Reg. Well, I'm just thinking about that word communication and a couple of things came to, 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 to my mind. Um, obviously the communication is important, but we need someone that's gonna be committed to Manatee County as well. And that's going to push to improve without becoming complacent. Manatee County is forever, if we notice, it's, it's changing it's, and it's evolving. And there are a lot of challenges with change. And the individual that comes um, to be the next county administrator has to be committed to Manatee County because a lot of the things that occur as a county administrator will definitely send you home with a headache. And I'll let Sherry speak. <laughs> I'll let Sherry speak, speak on that. But my thing is the county administrator would need to be able to push to improve daily to make Manatee County the best that it possibly can. And that's one of the things that I wanna make sure that we keep out there in my closing points. Yeah, great, all good. So, you know, we're just, we wanted to let everyone know today, this is our inaugural episode. This topic is right on the front page of everything we're doing and important to everyone. And so today we wanted to share some thoughts from three different perspectives. The Big Picture Manatee will have a monthly session like this where we tackle other big topics. Coming up is going to be the county budget and how do you read it? What's in it? It's a big budget. How do the board members make their decisions? How can you as a citizen be a part of that to make sure that your, your most important aspects are covered? And so um, in closing, we also have some other exciting things coming down the pike. And, and at our next June session, you're going to meet a new guy. He's here, <laughs> but um, he has a new title for the big picture <laughs> manatee, and he's the deacon of democracy. Now, oh boy. why is that there, Mr. Reggie Bellamy? Is because <laughs> as a county commissioner, we know that you really did try to stand for all the citizens in the community. And also, we know you're a deacon at your church. So we mm. know that that title fits you perfectly. So we're expecting big things from you in this aspect. And in our June session, we'll, we'll hear from you. And in the future, also some important work that Misty's doing. And so um, any well, closing thoughts from any of I, I love the Deacon of Democracy. Can I tell you that? <laughs> And I know your husband uh, had initially come up with that idea, Sherry. It fits <laughs> you so well, Reggie, the deacon of democracy. 
Well, I, the, the, de the deacon hat is a is is, is a different challenge, as um, especially um, if I was a deacon in the church. But that's because I like to pray, and I always put God first. And just thinking about the word deacon, um, if you look at it through the scriptures, it has a lot to do with service and impacting the com and impacting the community. So I'll I'll embrace that um, opportunity as far as the, the title. But when we start talking about the deacon of democracy, you know, my my approach would be what's best for the community and what's best for all, which I've always embraced to make sure everyone is considered. So we'll deal with that as, at, at this point in time, um, name accepting, and um, I'm looking forward to making sure we have some fun with the DOD name. <laughs> well, that's great. So, so in closing today's episode, and like we said, thanks for watching. We're glad you were here to start it, to kick it off, and to be with us over the course of the, the next many months as we deal and tackle with a lot of these different ideas. Um, also, um, we'd love for you to subscribe to our, our YouTube video so that you can see these um, each time we bring special segments on. There could be special segments throughout the month, depending on what topics are coming and what we need to be sharing with folks. Also, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. And um, you can see us on Twitter, though, at Big Picture. 941. And so we're just getting things going, but we're very excited for this um, effort. And we want to thank you all again for watching. Big takeaway today, I think you all get it, is a national search would help and benefit the entire community, not only the commissioners, all of the 2000, Misty, 2000 plus staff <laughs> that work for Manatee County government, every citizen in every neighborhood, and it would allow the person to be vested in dealing with Manatee County, be able to be doing all of the nice work that needs to be done, but in a knowledgeable way. And so thanks again. Join us next time here at the Big Picture Manatee.